Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to this video looking at our Garden Gnome package viewer for mobiles. We'll have a version for iOS and Android. It also works on an, um, iPads and other Android tablets. What this will allow you to do is to showcase your virtual tours and objects on mobile devices without the need for an internet connection, making it ideal for showcasing your work in front of customers or being used in exhibitions. So let's just have a quick look at the app itself. So this is it open on an iPhone. Uh, you can see from the main window, the packages window, I can just tap one of the demos. It opens up and it's a virtual tour. It supports all the features of Pano 2 VR, so menus and everything else in the skin. I'm just going to use the little top cross to close that down. And just a quick one here, this is object 2 VR. Okay, so there's a, a multi-row, multi-column object um, package being shown there. Okay, so looking at the screen then, um, top right hand corner we have our settings. If I tap that, you can see that we've got a few things that we can adjust. So the grid size, if I slide the slider up and down, you can see what that's doing. It's making the thumbnail slightly larger or smaller. We also have a setting here called keep awake. So whilst the app is open and if that's selected, the phone will not go to sleep or it will stop the lock screen kicking in. Okay, so that's quite a good one. That's ideal if you're using the app for say a cardboard viewer and you don't want the phone to go to sleep whilst viewing in the cardboard headset. Okay, the other setting we have is ignore safe area. Now this is quite a good setting. It also works very well with the VR, uh, so in cardboard. It allows you to use all of the screen real estate. Without this selected, you'll have um, uh, some dark areas of the screen, but with it selected, you will use the full screen. So if I open it up, you can see the panorama is behind or being showed behind the clock and the battery and all that. So that's well worth keeping on. The other setting or the last setting that we've got is hide close button. Now with this selected, you'll see this text. It says uh, you need to shake the device. This is for iOS to get to the um, to close the viewer. On Android, it will say something like um, uh, use the back button uh, to get out, but it will give you advice on how to get out of this uh, or how to get out the uh, the screen. So if I just have a look at this, I open it up on iOS, you'll see there's no close button. But if I just give my phone a bit of a shake, you'll see that we can then return back to the packages screen. Okay, so let's just turn that because I do like my close button. So that's basically a quick run through of the package viewer app. But the most important thing, of course, is how do I make my own packages? And how do I get them on the app? I have a Pano 2 VR project on my desktop. If I double click and open this up, open up Pano 2 VR, and you'll see that we've got this convenient little button that when I hover over it, it says generate garden gnome package. If you want to know how to do this for object 2 VR, please check out the documentation on our website. But for Pano 2 VR, you just click this button. It then opens up a save dialog box. I'm going to save it um, to the projects folder. Click save. Pano 2 VR generates the package. There it is. The package is basically all the files to display the virtual tour or object, if you're using Object 2 VR, packaged or it's compressed and packaged into a single file format, and there it is. So let's just save, um, or rather close um, the uh, Pano 2 VR and this folder. And there is the package on my desktop. So how do I now get this into the phone? Right, so we're on iOS at the moment. So the easiest way for iOS is basically uh, to open a new Finder window, select airdrop you'll see my phone appear in airdrop and or your phone appear in airdrop when you drag and drop let's just move that out of the way it says do you wish to accept the file i'm going to select accept you'll see it opens up and it adds the package to the packages window when i tap that you'll see that we've got the virtual tour there okay i can also use the file picker where it's the little box underneath where it says add package when i tap on the plus uh, my phone opens up into the files. I'm just going to tap browse and you'll see that I've, I've got access to the our iCloud drive and my phone. I could have up, um, uploaded packages to the our iCloud drive, but I'm going to tap on my phone, tap on the downloads. And here I've got a object package that I uploaded or, or transferred to my phone earlier. When I tap that, you'll see it appears in the packages window. When I tap that, here is the object output. Okay, the other way of adding packages is through other applications. So let's just close the Package Viewer app. I'm going to open up Safari. I'm already in our forum and our CMS forum where we've got some test packages for you know the WordPress plugin. Um, so I'm just going to tap on Light Painting. You'll see that it gives me the option to download. 
I'm downloading that to the phone. Once it's downloaded, I'm just going to click on the top right hand icon for the download button. It says we've got the light painting um, package downloaded. I'm going to tap that. I'm now going to tap the top right hand button, this is the share button. And now I'm going to select the package viewer and it will transfer that to the packages window. When I tap on that, you'll see that we've got the panorama there, my light painting panorama. Okay, so they are the three ways of transferring it to the iPhone. And what I want to do is just close this window now. And I'm going to go over to um, my Android phone. So here it is. You can see we've got the same uh, same display uh, as, as we did on iOS. Um, but now what I'm going to do is tap on the package or the file picker. Um, I've already transferred a file to my Android device earlier. I'm going to select that, which is a gallery it's extracting it's going to add it to the uh, the packages window and there is the output i'm now going to do what we did before i'm going to select chrome i'm going to go to the forum download the light painting you can see it's been downloaded i'm going to select the menu at the top select downloads select the menu for the light painting and click share and as before on ios i'm just going to select the package viewer and you'll see it loads in the package viewer there we go. Right, okay, returning back to um, iOS now. Um, what I want to show you last and, uh, and but not least is how we can um, edit the packages that we can see in the package window. Now, here we go. I've got my light painting and you can see that the name on that isn't very good. So if I tap the three little dots where it says light painting or next to light painting, it takes me into the package detail window. If I press and hold um, on the thumbnail rather than tapping, it also gets me into the same window. And here I can rename. There we go. So let's just call that or just leave it as light. There we go. So if I come out of this now, you'll see that we've renamed that to light. Press and hold. Um, I can also delete that as well. So let's just delete that and that's now gone. Okay, so that's basically all the settings and, um, and how to use the Package Viewer app, how to get your packages in there. And as always, thanks for watching.